From the center of the tiller, there are three controls here. This one, again, it doesn't have anything to do with the motion of the machine. It'll only raise and lower the handlebars, depending on how low you want to go, how tall you are, um, and again, what, what implement you're using so that you're in a comfortable position to use, the, uh, to use the machine where you're able to do it safely. So if you push that down, the handlebars will also, you can rotate them up or down a certain amount, and you want to make sure that's locked in place. We also have the, sh the gear shift, essentially. Uh, you wrap it in your turtle, obviously, so the farther forward you go, the higher the gear or the faster it will. This is the wheel speed only that you're setting. In between each gear is a neutral setting. So you want to shift from first gear to neutral, and then it slides over, second gear, neutral, second gear, neutral, third gear, neutral, or neutral, then third gear. Sometimes it won't go. You may need to rock the machine or jiggle the clutch a little bit to make sure it, that the gears are lined up. Okay. Now there's also a fourth gear forward on this machine, but it's a lot much too fast just for regular traveling speed, so there's no reason really to use it on the farm. If you were to use it, you'd want to make sure that your uh, your throttle was way down. Now the other lever that's here, this is your PTO, engage or disengage. So forward, that shows the gear is turning, that's engaged. Back is disengaged. Okay. So back, the power or the tiller part is not turning. Forward, it is turning. That's, of course, a safety feature. So if you're... Uh, just walking along or if you're not going to be tilling at that time you can turn the PTO off so it's not doing any work and it, there's no chance in catching anything or damaging anything with the tines. There's one other set of controls that we'll use quite often. It's the throttle. As you can see the larger that triangle gets the faster the throttle goes. That's again a rabbit and a turtle but they don't have it on there because it's down here. So throttle up, throttle down. Now, these two levers here this one is for forward and reverse. When we pull this back, that makes the machine run backwards. The PTO will not engage when the machine is running backwards. That way if you accidentally let go and it starts running you over before the kill switch stops, it's not going to take your feet into the tiller. It's not going to run you over um, while it's in reverse. There's a safety on that, so you have to pull back, come to the side, pull back some more come to the side again and then engage it in reverse. There's also a safety on that so when when you pull back it's going to be disengaging the PTO and you can see that the PTO lever as I do this will move back as I engage it into reverse. The other lever is for the to lock in or engage your differential lock. Uh, the wheels will turn independently. That makes it a lot easier to spin the machine. You can turn it while you're just walking. You can turn it while you're driving uh, because each wheel is spinning independently. Only one wheel is getting power. That's how a differential works. But if you're starting to slip, if one wheel is slipping or you're getting in some muck or need to pull it through something, you can engage the differential which gives you positive traction, which means it locks the wheels so that both wheels are turning at the same time. Even if they're slipping, both wheels will turn no matter what. So you can engage that, but most of the time, in order to make it easier to get around, you leave that disengaged just for driving around for general tilling until one wheel starts to slip. That's all the controls on the back end of the machine. We'll go ahead and go to the front now and talk about starting the engine.